It is my pleasure to introduce Declan McDonald, who is earning his Bachelor of Science degree in Mechanical Engineering from the St. Ambrose University College of Arts and Science to today. Declan serves as the Student Government Association President. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, I would like to start off by offering my congratulations to all of you. Uh, it is an honor to be standing here today in front of such a group of accomplished individuals. Um, so whether you remember every word of my speech or not, what matters most is that we are gathered here to celebrate your credible achievements and recognize the sacrifices you and your loved ones have made in order for you to be sitting here today. So as we embark on this new chapter of our lives, I'm reminded of a quote by Denzel Washington. Each person here today has the talent to succeed, but you have the guts to fail. It's a powerful reminder that success and failure go hand in hand, and that true greatness is only achieved when we are willing to take risks and embrace the possibility of failure. Right now, I am walking this line. This could be the worst speech ever, <laughs> but I understand that with confidence in myself and the burning desire to be great, it might not be. I simply had to try it to find out. In the past few years, we've been tested in ways we never imagined possible. COVID, in particular, turned our lives upside down, forcing us to adapt and overcome challenges we never thought we would face. I know I had one heck of a time learning Calculus 2 remotely, if my professor Lisa's here, <laughs> for the fellow engineers. <laughs> um, but more importantly, what I think hurt most after being sent home was missing out, missing out on the potential memories, the friendships, and experiences that could have been. But despite all these obstacles, we have remained strong, resilient, and determined to succeed. Now, here we sit, triumphant and ready to take on the world. Last Christmas, my Nana gave me a book called 101 Secrets for Your 20s. For months, it sat on my nightstand untouched. Sorry, Nana, she's not here, but she might be watching. <laughs> um, <laughs> but one day, feeling particularly lost and uncertain about my future, I picked it up and started reading. What I found in that book was a profound sense of comfort and reassurance. It reminded me that none of us have everything figured out, and that's okay. The problem is, we all fall into this trap of comparing ourselves to others. This leads us to believe that we are not doing what we are supposed to be doing with our lives. However, that could not be further from the truth. We are all exactly where we need to be. The key is to stay true to ourselves and be ready to seize opportunities when they come our way. As graduates of St. Ambrose, we have all taken risks, tried new things, and stepped outside of our comfort zones. We have acquired the skills and knowledge necessary to succeed in the world beyond these walls. But there will inevitably be times when we feel uneasy or uncertain about our future. When those moments come, remember this quote from the book my Nana gave me. The possibility for greatness and embarrassment both exist in the same space. If you are not willing to be embarrassed, you're probably not willing to be great. As we walk through life on this fine line between embarrassment and greatness, failure is destined to happen. We must immerse ourselves in the reality of failure because failure combined with determination breeds success. Our determination is the unbreakable spirit that we have all molded in our own way from our unique life experiences. So, if you are feeling uneasy or uncertain about your future, don't be. I can almost guarantee the person sitting next to you is feeling the same way. What matters most is your eagerness to take on the next opportunity that presents itself. As you leave here today, don't expect immediate success. The road ahead will be challenging, and you may face setbacks and disappointments along the way. If the first opportunity does not work out, all you have to do is stand up, dust yourself off, and try again. Because we are Ambrosian, it has been instilled in us to never stop learning and to never give up. After all, we are the fighting bees. Congratulations to the 2023 spring graduates. Go bees.